All right, welcome back. We continue with the number one Cochrane Sports Showdown, and we'll still talk about the Steelers because they have a big game against the Ravens. Get some take on that in a second. But first, I want to get into the James Conner, Le'Veon Bell debate, which is a weekly occurrence here because still no Le'Veon Bell. He may show this week after the trade deadline. Who knows? No word from him. Uh, but Colin, when I look at this situation right now, it looks like James Conner is on a pace of excellence that is even better than anything we've seen from Le'Veon Bell. So my question, when he does get in, whenever that may be, I will answer whose your question. job is it right now moving forward? I will forward? answer your okay, question. Answer the question. Before <laughs> you even get it out, because as you said, it's a weekly occurrence. The Pittsburgh Steelers for the 2018 season, Bob, have found their feature back. Period. End of story. Le'Veon Bell can hit the bricks. Don't bother coming back. And you know what? Reading the tea leaves kind of, doesn't it feel like Ben Roethlisberger saying that? Ron, I listen to him with you every week. It just feels like, he does. I don't know. It feels like to me, translation is, we don't want you back. That, that's nah, just my see, opinion. I, I talked to Ben after, oh, well, he said to the group, he was asked about Bell today, and he goes, I don't want to talk about Levy, and I want to talk about the guys here. Uh, I've talked to him in the past. I still think he thinks Le'Veon can help them down the road. I do as well. Uh, but how do you take Connor out right now the way he's playing? 212 total yards today. Became the first back in franchise history. We're talking about Franco, Jerome Bettis, Bill Dudley, John Henry Johnson. No one had ever done three games in a row with 100 rushing yards and two touchdowns. That's what this kid has just done. Uh, he's earned the position right now. I'm not going to write off Bell and say I don't want him back, but right now he's done everything and more. Everything and more. James Conner is the starter right now because he's the tip champ. But when Le'Veon Bell gets get, this guy's an all-pro. This guy's an elite talent. If he comes back and can flash some of that old form, absolutely he when can do you take do over that well, spot again. The other again. thing, though, is what I heard, and I heard him on not this past week, but the week before on with Ron uh, and with Joe Starkey, and Ben said it would be four weeks to be up to game speed. I mean, we're looking at like week time. we're looking at week 11 now, and that's best case scenario, right? And that, those aren't my words. That's somebody that's in the locker room. Again, Le'Veon Bell can stay home. He can stay home. He's done. Pack it in. See you next year with whatever team yeah, you want to yeah, play. Yeah, Colin. With. And then if he gets Connor gets hurt next week, where are you? Well, that's different. I, yeah, that, you know, but I'm saying, well, well, you got to get him in here. But just hypothetically, my my question is hypothetically, if Connor, even if let's say he doesn't have 212 yards, let's just say it, it's just a normal game. Or, but does he get? Does he immediately get taken out? Does Mike Tomlin play that hand, or does he say, look, this guy's been he's proved it all year. I'm not going to take him out. You after know one what? Bad There's game. ways to be creative, Bob, with both of these. But not he, the way Tomlin coaches that thing. Well, he doesn't do it I, I that mean, way. He can Change a little bit too. He used uh, uh, D'Angelo, Connor, not Connor, Bell together a couple years ago. There are ways to be creative. I, I still think, you know, Le'Veon was voted the fifth best player in the NFL by his peers before the season. There's a reason for that. There's a reason why the Steelers offered him 14 and a half million. It's because he's really good. I'm not going to say that he can't help them this year. I still think he can. Listen, if you can add Le'Veon Bell in good shape in December, well, that's the key. right? I mean. Why do you not want to play this guy? I, I, I appreciate everything James Conner has done. And, yeah, he starts. But if Le'Veon Bell gets back to where he was, he's the best tailback in the NFL. You don't want to play him because what have they won? Four out of five games now? That's why. But I'm saying in December, more wear and tear on Conner's body. If you can bring in a guy who hasn't been hit at all. So you arbitrarily year. just make that change or you wait till Conner drops off? No, How about I, if he I, doesn't I, drop off? I wait for Bell to, to show that he can do now. it. If he's healthy and ready to go, if he's not, if he comes in fat and out of shape, it's an easy story. But if he's ready to go, uh, you know, I find a way to play both of them. Well, that would be interesting. Let me ask you guys about the Ravens because we have a little bit of time here in this segment. Colin, your take on this one. The Ravens lost again today or 4-4. Four and four. This is a really important game for them as it will be for the Steelers because you could put a big nail into the Ravens right now. Tell us about that game, what you expect next time. Yeah, I can't figure the Baltimore Ravens out. Like, is Cincinnati the second-best team in the AFC North? Is it? Cleveland isn't. Are the Ravens? I, I thought up until this week the Ravens could really, really play defense. Now I don't know. I think the Steelers have to go down there, have to be the favorite, and have to look at this as a game in which they have to walk in and think they're going to win this football game and not necessarily win handily, but feel like that they have this one, not in the bag, but the Steelers should win this football game, Bob. Isn't it turning out the way we thought it would before the year yeah. that this was not a very good division? Yes. Uh, and Baltimore's 4-4. Four and four. There's got to be unbelievable heat on John Harbaugh down there. He's missed the playoffs three years in a row, four of the past five years. I think the owner, Bashotti, came out after last season and said, yeah, I thought about making a change, but I'm going to bring him back. They lose next week, go to 4-5. and five. 
Uh, they're in real trouble down there. I, I don't know how good they are. I don't think Cincinnati's that good. Uh, I'm still not sold on the Steelers with that defense at cornerback, but I'm thinking, as I thought before the year, they might be the best team in the division. Not that it'll be an easy game down there next week. I mean, it's always Never a physical. Is. It's always a tough game, and I'm with you, Colin. I, I don't know what's going on with their defense, and I didn't see the game, so I don't know what Flacco did, but I got to think it's got that ground, groundswell, probably even in the room. You've got to be wondering, when are they going to get the new guy? When are they going to get the Louisville kid in there to make some plays, more plays for them offensively? Yeah, that already started, by the way, Jeff, in today's game. That's just the way it is around the NFL week to week. And now, ladies and gentlemen, it's time to go around the horn for this week's Smooth Moves. Brought to you by Pittsburgh's largest supplier of the smoothest granite, marble, and quartz countertops. You'll find Armina Stone. So, smooth move. Anything in the way of sports, top to bottom. Colin, you go first. Yeah, smooth move. Happened this week. Uh, Smooth move to Dave Harper, the athletic director at Duquesne University, for getting the new building built, at least the plans laid out. It'll be a couple years. Uh, he is definitely the right guy at Duquesne. I think Keith Dambrot's the right basketball coach. People talk about that all the time. It's been a long time. Uh, good on those guys for pushing it forward, getting it done, and I think that Duquesne is in a very good place with Dave Harper. I'm going to go with Matt Murray. Uh, you know, two horrible games to start the season. He gets hurt. He actually gets benched, if you will, when he was healthy and thought he could – uh, play against Vancouver at home, comes out against Toronto, shuts them out, makes some big saves against uh, Edmonton and, and Calgary. I, I like the way that kid's bounced back, and he looks like a big-time goaltender again. Smooth move to pit captain Dennis Briggs, who got the team together after what happened in Squirrel Hill. Everybody's on their phone. They're trying to figure out what to do. He gathered the team. They said a prayer. And they had a classy celebration after their win. Steelers did the same, but a smooth move to Dennis Briggs. Very nicely said indeed. And those are the smooth moves of the week brought to you by Armina Stone, who features Pittsburgh's largest indoor gallery of granite marble countertops imported from all over the world to give you the smoothest countertops in your neighborhood. Score a touchdown with Armina Stone. When we come back, is Pitt it? Next.